Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing tealish. Um, that, that came a little earlier than I anticipated, especially seeing that they told me um, they couldn't do the subscription this month because they were out of stock and then a week later evidently they got stock and it was sent and it arrived pretty quickly I have to say. Um, can't complain about that. Tea Sparrow is still a wall, so we'll have to see what happens there. So let us get going. So my first tea is a fairy dust. I must say I'm really happy with the volume of tea they send. It's a, a decent amount of tea. Um, I can't complain about that. So this one is a green honey bush, green rooibos, apple bits, mistletoe. Never had mistletoe in the tea. Um, orange blossoms, rose blossoms, elderflower, strawberry bits, flavoring, and kiwi bits. So that is what that looks like. Um, so yeah, that's going to be an interesting tea to try. Let me smell what it smells like, because that's always um, interesting. A very fruity, very floral. Um, you definitely get um, the the um, rose um, and the strawberry. You get rose and strawberry. That's that's pretty much what I smell. This is going to be amazing iced tea, I think. Um, and then we've got indigo orchard, um, apple cubes, calendula petals, lemon verbena, butterfly pea flower, and natural flavorings. Butter butterfly pea flower is the the flower that they use to color the tea, that like um, blue color. And then I believe if you put a little bit of lemon juice in, it changes it to purple. I believe that's that's the, um, I mean, it was all the, the rage uh, about two, three years ago. David's Tea brought one out called Magic Potion, I believe it was. And that's the first time I saw blue pea flower in a tea. And since then, it seems like it's pretty much everywhere now. Oh, wow. That is a very strong lemon verbena. Um, but very lemony. It's very refreshing sort of lemon scent. So looking forward to trying that taste. Um, iced, I should say. Looking forward to taste that iced. Then this one is um, creamy vanilla. I don't know, did I show you the... I sometimes distract myself. Um, this one is creamy vanilla. So it's green tea, vanilla bits and flavor. So that's what that looks like. Um, I don't think I've had a, a, a vanilla green tea by itself like that. I've had um, vanilla in with other flavorings, not um, in general, um, just green tea and vanilla. Definitely get the, the vanilla. It's very like a creamy vanilla. So um, I'll have to see how that is. I'm not a big green tea fan. I prefer it floral if I can. Um, so we'll have to see. And then we've got Leo. So it looks like they do like a, a star sign tea every month. So that's kind of fun. Um, Leo is generous, generous, creative and driven. It's black tea, mango flavoring and um, yellow blossoms. So there we go. I like the Gemini tea last month. Definitely get the mango. Get that like, um, it smells a lot like... Um, Mango Marajuna from David's Tea. I'm probably butchering the name, but Marajuka um, from David's Tea. Something like that. Um, also that very strong sort of mango flavor. So um, that is it for, for tea leash. As always, generous tea bags. So there's, there's, there's enough for a whole month's worth of tea in there. Definitely. Um, most of the other teas, they're a little cheaper, the other boxes. Um... Although Tea Runners is pretty close because it converts to Canadian dollars. So it's probably pretty close to the same price as this at the end of the day. Because this is Canadian. Um, and this one, definitely I get more tea. Um, there's definitely more in here. Um, I would say I would probably get, judging by volume, I haven't finished the others yet. Um, probably eight cups of tea out of this, if not more. Um, whereas uh, Tea Runners... Um, I get around about four cups of tea. So it's definitely double um, the amount for the same price. And so far, I've been pretty happy with most of their flavorings. Um, the only one that I didn't like um, last month was the peach black. 
and that's mostly because peach is always very disappointing um when it comes no was it it wasn't peach black it was it grapefruit no what was it you know i just did the video for it and i've completely forgotten what it was um one of them was was not my favorite and i can't remember <laughs> what it was now um the peach one was actually pretty good the peach sorbet um it was some sort of black tea i don't know what it was and um i've forgotten already um but I, that was the only one I didn't. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I, it wasn't my favorite. Um, but these all look pretty good. Um, the indigo one is the black tea, I believe. No, there was a black tea, wasn't there? Ah, the, the Leo. Um, the Leo is the black, so with the mango. So we'll see what that is. Like I said, I very life is very um, full at the moment with problems and things like that. So my my, my memory is pretty toast um also the dogs have been unwell a little bit too so i've been dealing with that on the side okay everyone thank you very much for watching and we'll see you for um the tea sparrow video that should be coming up as well as um the ipsy versus top box okay everyone have a good day